Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can spoof your location on your phone without the need of a PC. Alright, and this thing works on both Android and iOS All right, and it's really safe and really reliable. I know if you guys have been searching a lot of apps online, probably most of them that say spoof your location doesn't really spoof your location. It's either some advertisement, you know, field apps all right, or like some you know, viruses and some most of them doesn't even work. But today I have the perfect app all right, that actually works and can spoof my location anywhere I want at the comfort of my own home on my phone itself without the need of any external devices and it is with the help of this app right here so this is the phone go or right, android location changer that is an app that's available on both android and ios all right and if you guys want to even spoof this on pc as well you can do that as well they have the windows version so you can spoof your phone all right through the your pc all right but today i'm just demonstrating to you on the android app itself without the need of any pc all right and this thing is really reliable really safe and i can use it to spoof like in probably like um geolocation based games or i can spoof like in like you know um dating apps as well social media apps like you know snapchat or google maps all this and that live 360 you can certainly do that and it's really safe it doesn't break your phone and it just works like charm all right so right now i'm going to show you guys the demonstration is also you guys can have a look at how this thing actually works so without further ado let me just go ahead and show you guys the demonstration itself let's go Okay, so right now I'm going to demonstrate to you all right, on my Google Maps. All right, so on the right, side, right hand side of my phone, you guys can see is the Google Maps itself. All right, I'm in my home right now. All right, let's take a look. All right, and on the left side is the phone school location changer. All right, so um, they have a lot of things right here. All right, and one new feature that I want to mention right now is all right, you guys can also control. So if your friend or you have another uh, or you have an iPhone itself and you want to control all right, via your Android phone, you guys can change the location on your Android phone to control the iOS location, which is really, really incredible. And it will do this via Bluetooth. All right, so you just need to turn on the iOS version, all right, and you'll connect both of them by Bluetooth. And after that, you guys can change your location. All right, so when, you, like for example, if you have connected via Bluetooth to your um, iPhone, all right, okay, so right now I'm not gonna connect because I don't have an iPhone to demonstrate right now. But if you do, all right, you guys can do that, all right, so you can change any location all right, on the app itself and um, your iPhone, the location will change directly on your iPhone. So this is really, really incredible if you want to do that. You can also do that. So this is one of the new features that they added. All right, so it's really awesome. So you guys can go and try out if you have both an Android phone and an iPhone and you specifically want to change your location on your iPhone, all right, but you don't want to download the app on iPhone, you can use this as well. So you can just download the app on Android phone, connect both of the phone via Bluetooth and change the phone on the app on your Android phone and the, on your iPhone it will change itself without the need of an app so it's really really cool highly recommend to check out if you both have an Android and iPhone at the same time but right now I'm gonna just jump, I'm gonna just change it directly on my Android phone itself so you guys can see this is where I am both shows the same place so I'm gonna show you guys the first mode alright so the first mode is very simple it's basically that like it's kind of like teleport mode so you can do like teleportation so if I go up to here there is like an airbase over here so if I want to like be in the airbase and then you tap on location you guys can see the coordinate the distance all right and um the first selection is teleport i'm going to show you guys the first selection first so if i just click on the teleport bam so i'm teleported and you guys can see on my google maps itself all right i'm also teleported to the same location as shown on this on the phone uh phone school location changer so you can see all right so i can go anywhere i want all right anywhere i want even on remote island i also can do that all right let's click on teleport all right, teleportation success, and you can see I have ended up in this location. So this app not only does work on your own country, it can go to any country you want in the world as long as it's available on the maps. So you guys can, like, if I want to visit like, you know, Thailand, all right, I just need to click on Thailand, just click on teleport, all right, and bam, I'm in another country in this instant. You guys can see I'm in Thailand right now on my Google Maps. So your GPS will think that you are in Thailand. So this is how really, really cool this thing is. All right, and, um, um, probably let me just show you guys around Thailand, I guess. Um, maybe just let me, let me guys just bring you back to Singapore. All right, it will be easier. <laughs> All right, you guys can see. Okay, let's bring it back to Singapore for now. All right, so let me just teleport to Singapore, back to Singapore real quick. Give it a while and bam, okay, I'm back to Singapore. 
Okay, so let me just show you guys another mode. Or right, another mode is the two spot mode. So if I click on this, okay, so this is a two point mode. So what it actually does, or right, it actually creates a pathway. Let me just show you guys so you guys can understand it easier. So if I click on two point, all right, so you guys can see it came out with an actual pathway. So it doesn't, it's not like straight line or it just teleports, all right. So it come out with an actual path, all right, an actual route, all right, from your point to the end point that you have chosen. So you guys can see on the bottom here, you guys can also select the speed you want it to move at. So if you want to like you tell your friends or family that, oh, you, I'm driving, I'm on the way, please don't call me and if you check the GPS or check the Live360 or the Snapchat say that you are moving and they see that you're moving, you know, it, it's, so it's true. So you, know, you, can, you can do that as well. All right, so you can adjust speed. I'm gonna put a driving speed and you can see how long it will take. It will take about seven minutes and eight seconds to reach that point. If you lower the speed, it will take about 17 minutes. So if you lower down, it will take six hours. So, but I'm gonna just make it really fast and you can have a variable speed. So to make it more realistic, so the speed is not constant. So you will just like slow down at a certain point and it will speed up at a certain point. So it make it looks more realistic if you want to go this approach. But right now I'm gonna keep at the same speed. Just click on start. All right, I need to have it um, appear on the floating window. All right, just enable that on my phone. Okay, and just click on start. Okay, so the hover window is open, so you just basically hover over the display over other apps. All right, so you can see it's moving, and if I go close, you guys can see all my Google Maps itself. It is also moving on the road. You guys can see when zooming closer. All right, you guys can see it is moving in on the road itself. So it will just be moving on the pathway specified on this thing itself. So it will just move all the way until the end. So it's really awesome and you know it makes it look more realistic. So I'm gonna just quit for now. Okay, so I'm gonna just quit for now. Okay, so let me just go ahead and show you the other one which is the multiple one. So multiple points. So for example, let's just choose another point right over here. Alright, you guys can see there is one that's a multi-point. So what does that do? Let me just go ahead and show you guys instead of like explaining it. So if I click on multi-point, right, you guys can see I have one point over here, so I can add another point. I can add another point, or I can add another point. So basically, it means that you know you can add multiple points on it, and there is no limit to how many points you want. You can have a lot of location. You can just add all at once. You can visit all of them at once. So add a lot of points over here. You guys can add, add. Okay, you can see the coordinate, the distance. Alright, so once you're happy with the point, alright, you guys can select the speed you want, and just click on start. Alright, and you guys can see this. We'll move to the next point, but this is very different from the two point because the multi point it just goes straight in a straight line. So you will just you know dash through all the buildings. You guys can see on my Google Maps, or right, it's dashing through all the buildings. Alright, so this one doesn't have like an um, actual route, but you know it's really cool. So if you like want to visit like you know, point one, point two, point three, you can do that as well. Alright, so I'm gonna just uh, pause for now and just go quick. So this is the multi point mode, so you can add multiple waypoints. Alright, and um, another thing I would like to show you guys, alright, it is the joystick mode. If you guys see below, alright, there's a lot of other icons. So if you guys like play like, um, you know, um, a lot of like other geolocation based games, alright, you guys can select uh, a different one, alright, you guys can you guys can select different modes, alright, where they have certain, you know, presets, certain buttons, alright, um, for the easier of your gameplay. So you guys can select for a certain mode if you're playing a certain games like this, alright, you guys can you guys can use use this if you want to so um yeah but uh, for me i'm just demonstrating on my leg like, um but if you are using this for like social mode like you know um live 360 snapchat all this you don't really have to use all this you'll use the default one i'm using right now all right but they have other options for you so if you're playing specific games you guys can use them as well but let me just show you the joystick mode so if i click on the joystick mode all right I'll click on start so basically what the joystick mode does all right is basically you guys can have a joystick over here or you can press play you can see the top here all right so if i like move in this direction let me just make the speed faster all right so you guys can see all right so i can no matter where i want it to be all right you guys can see all right so no matter where i want it to go to all right i can control freely so my movement is freely so i can control where i want to go to freely so without like any so you can just 
go anywhere you want via the control of the joystick. So this is basically the joystick mode. I think it's pretty much self-explanatory. All right, so when you're done, you can just pause it anytime you want and you can continue it. All right, you can move the, the joystick around you of your position you want. All right, and uh, yeah, you can just quit it and exit the joystick mode. So yeah, the joystick mode basically let you have a free control of where you want to go. All right, and let's say they also have like this thing where you guys can start at the top left. You guys can see I can start it. All right, I can name the location, so I can favorite it. So next time, so if this is the location I visit often, I can favorite it, and every time visit it when I open this app, so you don't have to like find it on the map itself, you know, and where is it, where is it. And talking about finding on the map, so probably like I say, it may be a hassle to find it on the map because you know the location, but you don't know where is it on the map. So how do you do that? So you can use the search function on the top here. So you can search for like any places you want. For example, if I search like Changi, all right, Changi Airport. Oh, we have Changi in Pakistan. We have in Singapore as well. We have a lot that names Changi. So no matter what region. So even if I search somewhere in the, all right, in the US, or we have Toronto, Italy. So if we can, I can choose Italy and teleport to Italy right now. So I, I'm, my GPS show that I'm in Italy right now, even though I'm sitting right here in front of my computer recording this, all right, at my home. This is how crazy it is. You can see, I'm in Italy right now. Man, guys, do you see that? Yeah, Italy, yeah. So yeah, you can search for certain location and um, you can also search for postal code. So if you don't know the name, but you know the postal code, you can easily search a postal code. And bam, so this is where my house is. And okay, bam. Map with Google Maps, and I'm back to home. So this is how cr how efficient and easy it is. So if you don't know, you guys can use the search function to search for the location you want. All right, so this is really, really convenient, all right? Also, you can, this is where you are. All right, there's a lot. You guys can see the, the recent history where you have been to. All right, you can see the recent route, what kind of route. You can press, click on the route, all right, and they will add show up back up where the route they have you previously input so yeah they have a history function so you guys can use it if you want, want to find back your old function as well okay let me just quit this all right these are all the fav favorites so if you have favorited it you will show up over here so you might be worried like okay now my location is spoof so what happened to my gps if i'm not using it can i still use my gps normally well you can so this thing like i say is really safe and really reliable so you don't have to worry about it all right so uh, let me just spoof my location so right now i'm at home right i'm just returned back to home so let me just um, probably teleport somewhere over here all right so all my google maps right now right is over here so i'm you're worried that you know you're, you might be stuck here even if you off the app you will still be here your your gps will not work don't worry because this thing is really safe so right now all right i'm my location is spoof right so I just need to quit the app. So I just need to quit it. All right, let me just quit it real quick. Quit it, swipe it off. All right, so it's gone. The app is gone. All right, but my GPS is still here. Don't worry, just wait a few seconds and it will be back. So your GPS is back. Now you can use your GPS Google Maps, all right, freely. So you don't have to worry about your GPS not working. Like I say, see, it auto, my GPS automatically switch back to its own and uh, yeah, you can use your GPS as per normal, use it to, for navigation and shot. So you don't have to worry about it still being spoofed. So once you close the app, your GPS will go back to normal. That is really, really awesome and really incredible. So you don't have to worry about anything at all. So this is uh, pretty much a quick demonstration on how this thing actually works. Okay, so as you guys have seen from the demonstration itself, this thing works really, really well. And I can easily control where I want it to be on my GPS or at a use you by using my phone so it is very easy i can spoof my location anywhere i want whenever i like all right and yeah it's really cool and it's to provide my privacy if you want like don't want people to keep tracking you can just spoof your location and you, people may think why why you are there and this and that so it's really really convenient all right so once again if you want to check out this um, app or software right here you guys can check out the first link in the video description down below and go ahead and try it out for yourself all right and also if you guys really want to get this all right and don't miss out on their premium plan so their premium plan is really really affordable you guys can see their premium plan all right it doesn't really cost more than a meal so if you guys really want to get this highly recommend check out the premium plan where you unlock way more feature but this also have a free download where you guys can try it for free first and if you guys really like it all right and you guys want to unlock more features which i really really do recommend all right you guys can get the premium plan all right compared over to the basic plan because the premium plan offers more 
yet at a more cheaper price. So why not, right? And if you guys, right now you guys can use a 20% off limited time coupon for an additional 20% off. So it's pretty, really awesome. And um, yeah, so, so don't miss out on this. I'll link them both the premium plan. So this plan, the link, and the, the link to the official site will be in the first link in the video description down below for you guys to check it out. So that's all for today, guys. If you guys find today's video really interesting and really helpful, do let me know in the comment section as well. All right, and once again, all the links will be in the first link in the video description down below for you guys to go ahead and download it and check it out for yourself. All right, so yeah, that's all for the guys. And this is JForce Gaming. I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't want to cry.